adaptable with any other types of martial art. So and that is that is a beautiful thing. And it's useful, it helps you, you gain from it, and that that is good. And that's what the Grand Master uh, wanted everyone to achieve. Okay? So now we'll begin uh, with uh, Mr. James Rivera demonstrating the counters. He'll do it just uh, a little bit slow so you can see his movements. You don't want to go too fast and then you're not able to capture our training here. But also, remember how I deliver the lock and block. That is also very important, especially for those that are inspiring to be instructors of Sarada. You need to watch how I deliver this this lock and block because how you deliver lock and block also will affect the development of your student or your partner. And it's very important that it's delivered correctly so that way the person that's receiving it is able to capture every moment of that training. Okay? So, and salute. Right? I do the, the signal. Right? We always begin with number one. And again, we're going to go up to number five below with the, the uh, Daga strikes in between. Alright? Here we go. Then we throw number one strike. And Right, and do stab. Okay, I position my weapon here for the number two. Okay, does his counter, does his sarada, which signals to me, okay, time to throw another, another strike, which I'll throw stab. Okay, you notice he didn't switch because he was already in that position. I position my weapon in the number three position, okay, and I Delivered. Okay. He counters. There. Okay. Now, after I throw the number three, I pull my daga to the side. Okay. Not out here. Not chambered way back here. But just right here. Right in front of me. Grand Master Bala says you always have to have your weapon right there in front. So you're ready all the time. Okay. So now, Throw the strike. I position to number four. Okay. Throw number four. Locks it. Does this counter? Okay. Stab. And you notice our switching of the of the feet. We're trying to keep tight using a triangular uh, footwork. Okay. I position low with my number five. You don't position high. Okay. Keep it low because. This benefits the student learning Sarada because then he has to really work at it or he or she has to really work to block the number five. If you have it too high, it's too easy. So keep it low. Same thing with the Daga strike. Okay, so you deliver it. Okay, counters. Okay, okay. now stab. Okay. Now Okay, so now I'm locked in. Number one, strike. And then I deliver again. Now he goes through and does a different block. Okay, so that way he can practice the second one. Okay, then I stab again. Right back to position number two right here. And I deliver. Okay, does a different block. There. Okay, and then I strike, okay, keeping it low, positioning here, delivering, okay, stabbing, position number four, okay, there we go, all right, stabbing, all right, and number five, there. Okay, up again. Now uh, the final round, which will give him his third count.
counter. Okay. Okay. There. There we go. Right. There. Okay. Any counters? There we go. And stab. There. Reposition to three. Okay. There we go. Okay. Box. Four. Okay. There we go. Counter. Okay. There. Number five. Okay. There. Now, once you finish there, okay, after the third round, then once you set all this, then you complete it. Okay. Now, you want to do lock and block. Maybe in a set of uh, threes. Okay, I recommend threes. I usually do more than that. You want to give the person a lot of workout. Okay, have them break a sweat. You break a sweat because that's what you want. You want to really work it. But remember, don't go too fast. Okay, until you're ready, and you'll know when you're ready. It'll be natural. Okay, you'll know when it's time. You you, you can go a little faster without sacrificing the quality of your movements, okay? Start going too fast too soon, you'll know, because then your arms start flinging, your, your arms coming up, up high, you're doing back like this, and, and then, you know, your footwork is off, you're a little bit off balance, so now it's, you know, you're going too fast too soon. So you need to bring it back down to earth, and then just do it with quality in the movements, okay? All right.